Hey guys, Daniel here with Live Tech Australia coming at you from the CES 2017 show floor. We're here at the Hisense booth and it's a pretty amazing booth. It's full of TV screens. You may have heard of Hisense before. A lot of you would have seen them in different shops at your local electronics retailer and had been wondering, you know, what's going on with the Hisense? Like, should I trust this brand? Why is their stuff so much cheaper? Well, let's go take a tour around their booth and see all the new products. So this is Hisense's 98-inch 8K ULED TV. It is massive, as you can see. Like, if I was to stand right next to it, well, it's taller than me, but I'm a pretty short guy anyway. But anyway, it's a pretty amazing showpiece of CES, and that's exactly what it is. It's a showpiece, but it's more of like a look what we can do kind of technology. And as you can see, the TV just looks freaking amazing. So this is Hisense's 55-inch 4K TV. It will be coming to Australia. Uh, it's got quantum dot technology. The blacks are super black. Um, it's a ULED TV. Look at that color over there. But just check out how thin it is. That is super thin. It's 6.4 millimeters thin, which is ridiculous for a TV. It has pretty cool color contrast. The black levels, the brightness, it's all there. It's really, it's really an amazing showpiece. I want one of these in my house. Isn't there another amazing 4K TV? It's a 75 inch one, so if the 55 wasn't doing it for you, maybe a 75 will be good enough for you. Again, the black levels, the contrast, the colors, it's also ULED, and this will be in Australia too. Okay, so you guys know that Hisense makes TVs, they make fri refrigerators, we see them all in like shops in, in Australia, you know, Harvey Norman, JB Hi-Fi, that sort of thing. Did you know they do phones and tablets as well? Like, no joke, they're right here. So this is the Hisense E76. It's a safe and secure smartphone, obviously running Android. Um, it has end-to-end -end encryption, apparently. I mean, did you guys know they made phones? Like, seriously, who knew Hisense made phones? And, like, pretty good-looking ones, too. Not, like, ugly trash that you usually see for, like, lower-budget phones. Guys, take a look at this. One side of this phone is just what, a regular AMOLED, yes. AMOLED screen? Flip it over, <laughs> let them see the other side. It's a full e-ink display. So, I'm not sure how functional it is. Fully functional. It's fully functional. And what's the battery life on this? So, if you're using this side, yeah. and let's say you're down to 20%, it'll still last eight to ten hours. Whoa, okay. So you really can get three days of use out of using the e-ink side. Just the e-ink. Yep. And you can make calls and everything just and with the ink. And if the phone dies, the last image remains. <laughs> so it doesn't require power. So if you're trying to get on an airplane, and you put up your boarding pass, and the, right. the phone died, your boarding pass is still there. That's pretty good. Cool. directions are still there. That's pretty amazing. And then you've got like all the air conditioners, the dehumidifiers, which I'm not sure if we see in Australia, but they're all smart connected. So you can control them just from the phone here. You can see they've got like their Hisense phone there. So of course we're not going to see a lot of this stuff in Australia anytime soon. Hisense's focus is mainly TVs and refrigerators in Australia. But I thought it was just interesting to show you guys what else they do. You don't really know what they do until you come to CES and you see all the products covering all their different geographic locations. So anyway guys, thanks for joining me for this Hisense booth tour here at CES 2017 in Las Vegas. Till next time, we'll see you later.